Hello everybody, welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Football Manager. And this time, as you can see, we are against Wigan. Very near team, as I'd like to call them. Um, because they are just totally... They just, Wigan just passed me by. I remember when they came into the Premier League. And I thought, that's nice, you know. This little team, you know, town famed for its rugby, now in the Premier League. And now all they do is just get on my tits. Oh well. Um, sorry, I really should stop talking about tits. I've been talking about that the last few uh, commentaries. I should stop talking about that. The team. Uh, Ram Morales is back. Uh, very good news. And also, Fernando Torres is nearly back as well. He is on a orange injury symbol now, which means he's reasonably close. I think he's probably like a week away. I think last time I checked. So he's not too bad now. As you can see, hopefully we should be able to... Well, I was going to say boss midfield, but look at that. They parked the bus, haven't they, at home? Tut tut Wigan, tut tut. Um, let's see what Wigan's oh, oh Wigan's form's been woeful. That's that's encouraging. Um, let's see Basili and Rodriguez. Um, close them down. Yeah, just close them down, and we can put these guys. Because that's what they. Uh, that's what they. I'm sure that's what they got. Let's see, and who was it? Roddy again, Baselli. Never even heard of this Baselli guy. I assume he's good though. And Charles and Zogbia. Okay, I'm going to want hard on Zogbia. That's it. Just, just him. Not like loads of other players. Just him. And I'm going to wish them up once again. So here we go. Against Wigan. Now we we found a bit of scoring form once again, as we did in the uh, previous game against Birmingham. And um. Yeah, this gives me a bit of hope as well. The fact that Wigan have been in some rather woeful uh, uh, form, which is quite encouraging. So, uh, fifteen minutes, nearly fifteen minutes gone. Not a lot's happened. Well, that's very encouraging. Ah, here we go, free kick. Uh, Kanchewski's back, as you can see, which is interesting. He hasn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, he hasn't uh, been doing. Apparently, has been doing very good for Nottingham. Yeah, he's been struggling apparently, according to. Uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter account which I follow. If you don't, uh, I suggest you do. If you if you want to write laugh um, for, uh, for for Twitter, what I recommend is looking for the account uh, Konchesky's mum. Ooh, um, which for those who didn't hear about this, um, I think it was in December. Uh, Paul Konchesky's mum uh, posted on her Facebook status when I think we lost one 0 to Wolves, and that was like the real nail in the coffin for Roy Hodgson. Uh, you know, uh, Konchesky took quite a bit of stick that game, and he was pretty poor to, to, to be fair to him. But you know, he um, <coughs> he took quite the brunt of the uh, of the uh, abuse. And I think his mom may have had a few drinks or something because uh, she very offensively went on Facebook that night and said, um, "Scousers." Oh, well, how did he say? I think like basically just said something very offensive about uh, Scousers, which. Is actually really fucking funny. And so, something that's not funny is we're gonna have just scored from a fucking corner. And holy shit, the commentary, the commentator just had an orgasm there. Good lord. Who's who scored? Sorry, Caldwell, I think. Cause, and Zogby may have scored. Well, yeah, Caldwell. No, don't waste my time with this bollocks screen. God damn it. But yeah, I'll continue the story. Um, can just come on basically just said. Uh, yeah, you know, something, and I think it was hidden away, and then like she had loads of her cronies at the bottom, saying, "Yeah, the scousers don't know class when it hits them." Good head of Cal Caldwell, and all that sort of stuff, which I found really, really funny. You know, like then she was like swearing and everything. And it's like, I kind of contradicted yourself there, Carol, um, which is Carol Kincheski, and um, obviously we all looked at it and laughed and thought, "This is some bitter old woman who's." Clearly, very frustrated, maybe sexually as well. That's put all sorts of weird images in your head, has this? Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, and she basically was found out by. I think it was probably the news of the world. No one them. They just find everything out these days. Uh, and yeah, it got posted on all sorts of internet sites, forums, the lot. And uh, obviously, she got picked apart uh, and uh, abused, just as uh, <coughs> excuse, uh, just as her son did. Good God! I have to change instructions. And uh, someone's made their, um, a Twitter account called Kincheski's Mom, which is just like it's like standing up for her Paul, so to speak. And um, 
yeah, she's like, I'm, I think he's at Nottingham Forest, and I sort of keep track of him by that. <laughs> like how it says, like the accounts will say stuff like, oh, our Paul, oh, Paul did have a very good game last night against Sheffield. Fucking horrible Sheffield, you know? Yeah, and just like, you know, it'll slag off like Sheffield, and then it'll, they go to Manchester, like, they'll slag off Manchester, but go, even like, and then when they go down south, if they go to someone like Fulham, which of course he used to play for, um, Charlton, you know, all those side things, they'll be like, ah, back in the south, you know, real, really good country, not like horrible up north, and it's pollution and scousers, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's it's really it's really funny. He hasn't got too many followers. Whoa, he hasn't got too many. I think he's got like a thousand followers. Speaking of funny football um, ones as well, I think uh, if if you're a West Brom fan, you might like this. Um, it what started out as a bit of a Liverpool parody was uh, now turned into a bit of a West Brom parody. Is a Roy Hodgson joke account. Uh, it's called the Hodge, <laughs> and um, I think that's got like a thousand or two thousand followers. He actually posts some really funny. Uh, I'm going to talk about these actually. I want to talk about a few. Um, and it it talks about like Mrs. Hodge and how he does lewd sex acts on her and you know and, and like he, he he'd like say um, what does he say you know like how it was a stroke of genius that he bought Paul Konchesky you know like for example and obviously I know this didn't happen but um, if he scored you know he would say he's you know we all know Paul Konchesky is a poor player but you know if he if he scored a fluky goal he'd go on Twitter and be you know it'd be all like um, Oh, what a stroke of genius this signing was, you know, that sort of thing. We can't get in at all. Good God almighty, I'm getting out possessed by Wigan here. I need to sort something out. But, you know, it's that kind of thing, and obviously it's West Brom parody now. And um, There's another one which has got quite a bit of... I think if, you, if you're any football fan you're, and you're on Twitter, you'll probably follow this guy. It's called The Big Sam. And it's just basically a Sam Allardyce parody account. Well, it used to be. I think it's because people got offended by it, like Allardyce's people probably got offended by it or something. Um, they, 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 they suspended it and uh, now they've had to like sort of censor it. So it's like, there's still a picture of Sam Allardyce but it's like blocked his eyes out so and, like, and you know, it, it's not re referencing to other Sams. Oh my god he's hit the post. Good god. <laughs> but yeah, he, he just posts all sorts of just bizarre stories, like made up stories that you know, Sam Allardyce might encounter you know. He doesn't really talk about football much, but, you know, it's still a fucking funny account. Uh, let's see there, here. Um, seems prize at stake, you bastards. <laughs> um, what leaves feedback? Yeah, we need to push. Oops. Um, let's see, tactics. Let's push more men forward. Um, box to box. No advanced playmaker attack. Yep, you defend, you support, attack, our attack. Uh, let's change it to do, 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 do. rigid. Go. Rigid means, by the way, if, as if you couldn't, in case you couldn't see the description, there, sort of like the players are expected to do more, like you know, defenders maybe to go forward a bit or. Midfielders to go back, defenders maybe come back, uh, sorry, defenders, uh, strikers come back just a bit, you know, maybe a bit further than they might do. So, as you can see, we're pushing a lot further up now. Um, so, hopefully, this should help because, you know, we really are struggling in this uh, department. And so thank you to the comments on the uh, previous video. I think it was the West Ham video, not the previous video. <laughs> At the time of recording, it was the uh, latest video. Um, which is the West Ham video. Thanks for uh, all the suggestions there. I'll have a look at some of them players. I will be looking at uh, Carol and Suarez. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I haven't got my hopes up for um, Suarez. You know, he is uh, still an absolute top quality player, and uh, you know, even on here, he still is. Before he, he came to Liverpool, you know, we all knew that. And uh, Andy Carroll, um, I might be able to get away with him mainly because you know he might still be rated to that you know like the million pound mark or something as he was at the start of the season before you know he went totally berserk and just scored shit ton of goals. And why is Babel flicking it on to no one? Oh my goodness god. Chris Kirkland. He's done a favour for his old club. I'm not gonna deny. Chris, thanks. <laughs> oh, I've always rated Chris Kirkland as well. I think he has been he has got to be one of the most unluckiest footballers ever. And I think it's just showed there. So that was a bizarre flick on but an even more bizarre kick from Kirkland and um, we've equalised well then hmm. 
Yeah, so my, my voice is going very high pitched lately as well. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm a bit more excitable lately, I don't know what that is. Once again, uh, I think a change of tactics seems to have done the team well, we've at least equalised, and I'm struck fortune by it in that, but oh, what a pass that is. What a disgustingly bad finish that was, Babble. Come on, he scored um, two goals now, I should expect them to be a bit more uh, accurate in front of goal, shall we say. Because that just wasn't... That was pretty poor finishing, if they get another goal here, good lord, what a pass. I know he was offside, but that shot just banana to the corner flag. Oh lord, that was awful. Right then, so I think this is going to be a, a bit of a tighter, tighter game now. Ah, look, they're going defensive. We've got more attacking. Hmm, then maybe they're playing it into our hands here. Well, ten minutes has gone. Not much has happened. I think I might have to make a sub now. As you can see now, again, if we do come away with a draw, I'm not going to be totally disappointed, but could be, yeah. Maybe we should take Babel off and Gog just to see. You know, maybe if we get a chance here. And um, team instructions. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say attack because. Uh, let's see here, attack. There we go. Own count has just missed. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Um, you know, you're always hopeful at the bottom when you're not. You can't actually see what's going on, but it's like classical match. You don't. You can't really see what's going on. Oh wow. Well, what's going on? Jovanovic played. Look at Kite! He scored! He's not scored! <sighs> Damn. <laughs> and yes, that was genuine. I did not know he was um, offside. Oh, I'm gutted. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if they snatch a win, thank you, I was going to say. That, oh, that is annoying. Let me see this. Is he? Oh, yeah, I think he is just. All right. No, I'm going to say sympathy because that was just ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, um, so let's have a look at the uh, action. Now we're going to go to the home page because that we can see everything there. And as you can see, we are now eighth due to that absolutely irritating as hell um, thing there. And I think my computer's just made a big noise. Uh, the battery's going to go. Oh well. <laughs> Better get one quick. Um, yep, so that's disappointing. Very, very annoying. Um, well, what can you do, eh? We are currently 8th, as you can see now, we're a point behind Fulham, 3 points behind Tottenham and 6th. Mm. Oh well, next game against Wolves, we're just going to make sure we've got these games in hand thing. Um, yeah, as you can see, some have played 14, we've only played 12, so not the end of the world yet. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in part 22 versus Wolves. Goodbye.